The meeting point was a giant parade ground in the middle of the old capital city, Rangoon. And I was the first to arrive. I've bought a stereo. I have a speaker system here in the roof. The passenger seat has been replaced with a subwoofer and there are two amps with a combined power of 2,300 watts. And the best thing is, included in the price was this comb and an entire lorry. It was built in 1959 or 1976. People are a bit hazy on that. What we do know for sure is that Isuzu made the mud flaps, which is odd because it says Mitsubishi on the axles. Oh, it is James. Really pull that a lot. Morning. Van, mate. What? We had to bring lorries. That is a lorry. A van. Technically, it's a crane, actually. I've bought a crane. Oh, is that what that is? Look at that. A crane, two winches, hydraulic rams, legs, and it had the latest in high-tech dashboards. That's a mess. No. Isn't this going to drive your OCD mad? I mean, well, I've put labels on things, to, you know, corresponding to what I think they do. Hazards, what's that? I've got one of those in well, my I don't lorry. Know. I've had to put a question mark on it. Mine is a sports lorry. Straight six, rear wheel drive, twin exhaust, BMW 325i and this. Almost identical. Banging stereo. Really? Seriously. You want to hear it? Not really. I expect it's gone. <laughs> I'm sure that won't become annoying at all. I need to ask you a question. What? Why are you wearing a tie? Because I'm a modern lorry driver, and modern lorry drivers are crisp and sharp. The days are over when you simply turned up with a glove box full of strong pornography and egg on your vest. At this point, Hammond arrived with a glove box full of strong pornography and egg on his vest. <clears throat> what do you think? What is it, a lorry or a Hindu tent? This has been ex extensively modded. Had it? Not just the visual improvements, and they are significant, the lights, the, the, the little study things, but note... Oh, uh, God. All of that favour arrangement, right, it's a farm truck. Yeah. And that's so it can accommodate those low-density big loads. Oh, big crops. loads of what? Well, crops. Crop. What yeah. crop? Here, well, in Burma, home of the Golden Triangle. Hay. No. Or turnips. No. Kale. No, heroin. That's all they really grow here. You bought a heroin lorry. There's a lot of heroin in there, wouldn't you? Hammond, it's a, this seat yeah. is... Well, let's be it's, honest, it's, it's, it's a church pew. Yeah. It looks like the sort of railway carriage that Agatha Christie went about in. Let's have James, a look at what we've got. James has bought a van. Is he parked it a long way away, or is it that small? As we were admiring the paintwork on Jeremy's lorry, our challenge arrived. Well, I'm quite excited, actually, come to think of it, because, I mean, we're here with these. In 1943, British, Australian and Dutch prisoners of war were forced by their Japanese captors to build the Burma Railway across Southeast Asia. Their efforts and their suffering were immortalised in the film Bridge on the River Kwai. That's what you're going to do. You're going to build a river bridge which is strong enough to support the weight of your lorries. I don't know anything about bridge build building. A bridge. How big a bridge are we going to have to build? Yeah, to how big it, how much does yours it? weigh? About a thousand tons. I'm afraid it gets worse. You know they said long distance lorry driving? Yes. The only trouble is that you have to drive to the river in question, which is in Thailand. Well, the River Kwai is not in Thailand. Yes, it yeah. is. The River Kwai is in Thailand. Where's Thailand? Is it? Yeah. But it's in... No, no, I promise you, the River Kwai, I know everyone thinks it's Burma, it isn't, it's Thailand. So we're going to go and build a bridge over the River Kwai? Like no. Alec Guinness? <laughs> I don't know how to build a bridge. In high spirits, the journey began. We 
be uh, off. 